Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a saddle stitch booklet using Adobe InDesign. First thing you want to do is start up InDesign and click on create new document. You should have a page that looks similar to this. Let's start out by putting our, our page number to 12 and make sure facing pages is clicked. That makes sure the pages are facing each other so you can design them in their spread layout. Next, let's set our size. If your computer is set to points, that's not a problem. All you do is type in 6IN and it will convert it from inches to points for you. Then type 9IN. There you go. Now we need to set our bleed. If your screen looks like mine, you just need to click on more options and it will show you your bleed settings down here. Make sure it says .125IN and hit tab and it should fill that in for the 8th inch bleed that you're going to need on this booklet. Then click OK. This is what our booklet looks like. Here's our first page and these are our inside spreads with the last page. Let's take a closer look at them. This purple line you see right here is the finished page size. This red line is the bleed. So let's say we want to have a black header on all of our pages. We'll draw a box like that. Fill it in with some black. As you can see this box goes out past this bleed line. That way when we save out our document with our bleed information the printers will have this extra information when they need to cut our booklet out so that these pages will be full bleed. Make sure you do that and you don't design them to the purple line because then they won't have any of that information and in order to get a full bleed they'll need to cut into your booklet. If you want your booklet not to be saddle stitch and to be a standard spiral bound booklet so basically you don't want these pages next to each other all you have to do is go to do file document setup and uncheck facing pages. That'll give you these individual pages. When it's time to save out your file for the printer, we want to save it out as a PDF. So you go File, Export, and select Adobe PDF Print and hit Save. Then we'll have these options. We want to make sure all pages are clicked and they are individual pages. Don't save them out as spreads or they won't be able to print the Saddle Stitch booklet correctly. Then check Marks and Bleeds and make sure that you're using your document bleed settings or the default settings but it's set to your eighth of an inch. That way when you save it out they'll have that information and this bleed will be on the page. You hit export and that's your booklet. It'll save for you and you can take that to the printer and be ready to go. Thanks for watching.